watching Let's Chat. Back in April, our friends at Gate 11 Distillery went to San Francisco and entered a very prestigious, very prestigious and very difficult competition, the World Spirits Competition. More than 5,000 entries. Guess who brought home the double gold? These folks, it is Bill and Wanda Lee with Gate 11. Bill, Wanda, good to see you both. And congratulations on the big win. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What's that like when you get the call among hundreds and thousands of other entries, you're the one that won. <laughs> you wanna handle that one? Well, <laughs> I, I, I was very excited. Um, this is the second year that I won. Right. So I want it um, to win it twice because if I win it another time, it's even another special. But I sure. want it. I want it the validation that what we have is a really good product. And you beat out some of the heavier hitter, more well-known names. I in did. Gen. I did. So um, good for you. I, f I feel like it. It's a blind taste test. So it's um, people who are experts at. Um, what they know is good, and when they tell me that what I did is um, very special, I feel good about no, it. No doubt about it. And Bill, you have equal, uh, equally high bragging rights. The vodka is your baby, is that right? Yeah, I've been making vodka over 20 years, Chip, and um, we entered the vodka for the first time this year in San Francisco competition and also got a double goal. So that's, wow. that was, uh, it's great to get two, two of those. So. How long have the two of you been married? <laughs> Almost 50 years. <laughs> Almost 50 yeah. years. Yeah. How did you get into the idea of distilling spirits, and how did you decide to do it here in Chattanooga? Well, I grew up in Blessville County, and most of my career as a chemical engineer has been in the Midwest, and right. uh, we, including 15 years in Minnesota. And uh, that's that's hard for a, a, a Bledsoe County boy. So <laughs> we decided to move back to the south and in Wanda's from Memphis but it was a kind of a no-brainer for us to come to Chattanooga yes. um, and we did this about 11 years ago actually and Chattanooga is a great town it's I consider it kind of my hometown because I grew up around here and we wanted to do a distillery and we thought well there's there's chat whiskey of course is, is here but right. that's it so we thought well we're gonna do a distillery we're gonna do things that are a little different than chat whiskey sure. and other pl people and so we decided to uh, to create a distillery um, and we found the opportunity to do it in the Chattanooga Choo Choo, which is great. Yeah, that's um, that kind of goes hand in hand, it really, does. when you think about it. Yes. And you guys have gotten recently into um, not just the vodkas, not just the gins, the elite of those craft spirits. You're also taking on some whiskey and you're also developing a, uh, is it a tequila or an aguave that you were telling me about? It's called an agave spirit. It is a tequila in every sense, I think, the name. But you can't call it. No, there's yeah. a there's a place of origin requirement to use yeah. that name. Right, yeah. sort of like champagne when exactly. it's in France, right? Yes. Exactly. But I, I gotta say, this, this has been the most difficult and challenging uh, spirit to produce, the agave. We just released it uh, about a week ago, yes. so. Really? Yeah. Yes. But, yeah. you know, we've got a big cocktail bar focus at Gate 11, mm -hmm. and, and when you're serving cocktails, there's a big hole in our, in our portfolio, no, no tequila. So we now have that uh, addressed. What have you heard about this in the limited time it's been out? Gotten really good feedback on it, and uh, I gotta say I'm not a tequila expert, but I, right. I, I feel like after a 10 months of figuring out how to make it, <laughs> I'm pretty good at it, and, uh, and we're excited. What, we're, right, let's, let's go to the gin, for example. Okay. When you're tasting a gin, what do you right. look for? Well, so I, I, in particular, have liked gin forever, so I'm looking for something that's um, smooth, not bitter, which ours isn't. I think most people don't like gin because they think it's bitter. It's got kind of a harsh taste initially. It does. Initially. Normally, but I have um, helped with Bill. I have come up with a way not to have it be bitter. Um, we use a different kind of citrus in it, mm -hmm. um, and that citrus makes it smooth. And I put some things in it like orris root, which is an iris, which is Tennessee state flower. So that is actually a balancing um, botanical, right. and you're going to get a smoother taste. And so I think that's what people are surprised about. All right, Bill, I'm going to ask you the same thing about vodka. If you're looking for a vodka, what should you be looking for in the taste? 
Well, that's a, that's a really interesting question, Chip, because vodka, by its very definition, has no taste. And so it's supposed to be, it's defined as a completely neutral spirit. And yet you find very subtle differences between one vodka sure. and, and another. So uh, there are some things we do very deliberately in some of the, the hand-built stills we've made to create this vodka uh, to be very smooth. Some of the sweetness from the corn base comes through and it's just, uh, it's just luscious. So. If folks go to Gate 11, what do they expect? What can they see? Well, I would say in the daytime, we are a tourist attraction. We do tours of our distillery. We've got, everything is hand built uh, and it's all custom built. So we sort of embrace craft down to the point of building our own system. Sure. Um, so we do distillery tills and, uh, tours and tastings in the day. Then in the evening, particularly on Friday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're a live music venue, mm -hmm. and we've got cocktail bars, so that's a very big part of our business. And of course, uh, you know, our brands are out there in bars and restaurants in the area. I, I was going to ask you, where can we get this? It is available here in this area yes. at some select retailers, correct? Well, yeah, most, uh, most of the package stores in town are carrying our products, and many of the bars and restaurants are. If you don't see it, ask for it by name, <laughs> without doubt. You can find out more at gate11distillery.com, gate11distillery.com. All right, Bill and Wanda Lee, i got one more question for you. Mm -hmm. You've got all of these spirits that have got your name on them. What's the next one you're going to try to master? <laughs> or have you thought that far ahead yet? We, we are working on barrel-aged agave. Right. We are working on a green absinthe. Right. And I'm working on a dark rum. So, yes, we've got a pipeline wow. of new stuff coming out. You're going to cover the whole gambit before long, aren't uh, you? We haven't got to brandy yet. Oh, no. yes. <laughs> well, it's still getting into spring and summer. you got a little bit of time to work on that. Best of luck. I hope you come back for the next competition in San Francisco with even more double golds. Okay. Or another gold on top of what you've already got. How cool would that be? That would be cool. That would be that would be drinks on the house, right? <laughs> Except you can't do that legally. I don't bring think. tasting cups for that. Find them at the chat. Chattanooga Choo Choo. You can't miss them. Gate11Distillery.com. We'll be right back.